We're going to take a look at the doubler plugin from Waves. I have an example vocal here. For all I know, come and go, you glow. We're going to use the plugin to create the illusion that there was this original track and then two layers of additional vocals combined in with it. So we'll go here and put the plugin onto this channel by going to Waves. This is not a plugin that comes with Logic, so you need to buy it separately. Uh, and I'm using Doubler 2 M to S, which stands for mono to stereo. Doubler 4 is the same thing, except it gives you four additional copies of the sound uh, plus the original. Two gives you the original plus two. So here are the two copies of the sound, and here is the original sound. They can all be turned on and off by clicking in these squares. Let's hear what the plugin is doing. For all I know, come and go, you glow. Okay, we have a stereo effect, um, and that is because we're taking the original sound and panning out to the side here. Uh, one of the signals, delaying it and detuning it up six cents. Uh, and then we're doing the same thing on the, on the right side. Uh, we're, we're turning it down a little bit. We're panning it out to the right side and we're delaying it even more. And then we're tuning it down six cents. So it's okay to take your signal and tune it up and down because no singer is perfectly uh, in tune and and if you sang the same thing multiple times there would be a slight difference in the pitch. Um, you can see um, on this this chart is showing the gain and panning so that's how far from the center these copies of the sound are played. So this one's being being panned out to the left 45 degrees. You can you can move it in, you can move it out and uh, the distance from the bottom is going to be the volume. So that's going to turn down the copy or turn it up. Uh, this graph in this uh, center here represents the pitch and it represents the delay time. So the further this way, the longer the delay and the further up or down is going to be uh, the, the uh, variation of the pitch, how much is detuned, which you can change here. So I'll take the red one, and I can tune it up more by doing this. At a certain point, it'll sound really out of tune, so we can listen back now. For all I know, it's too weird, right? Okay. Come and go, you glow. Uh, and then the depth and modulation, or the depth and rate, uh, affect how much it's modulating. So if you turn depth up, that's how much it's going to swivel around the detune point that you set. And rate is how quickly it's going to do that, uh, how many uh, times it's going to do it for every second, I think. For all I know, See? And this line is representing that. Go, you glow so you can create from the some modulation you effect. You Let's listen just to this one. Can't so I'll turn off. <laughs> You hear the pitch going up and down in that one. That's because the depth is very high and the rate's pretty high. So you can create some pretty crazy sounds that way. Uh, but usually you don't need to have the modulation turned on. You can just uh, set this to zero. And uh, you would just be wanting to make some copies of this sound. Uh, for And this uh, last section here is the EQ that only affects the duplicate voices. This doesn't affect, affect the uh, original sound, the white one here, at all. So this is a low cut, and it'll cut down to whatever you have the gain at, and this is where you set the frequency for it, or you can just move this ball. Uh, and this is going to be a high boost or cut, based, based on whether you have it pulled down or pulled up. And again, you can adjust it here. And either of these filters, you can turn on or off using these squares. So all the squares are, are on and off buttons for parameters. Uh, and this is your output gain. And this is just showing you the volume 
overall uh, left and right coming out uh, after this plugin. Uh, I'd recommend this plugin be placed on the chain after any compressors and EQs, uh, but before any reverbs or delays. Okay, so is there anything else we want to look at? Oh yes, oct. So this is uh, octave shift down. So right now we have this tuned up 10 cents for, for the red channel, which is the left side. Come and go but if we press this, it's going to go down one octave, but then still tune up 10 cents. So. For all I know, come and go, you glow from the warmth you I've turned both to be uh, shifted down. So now both copies are shifted down. For all I know. And feedback is how much of uh, these copied signals is being fed back into themselves. So you can, uh, and that's after the delay. So it's kind of like using a feedback with a normal delay. Uh, usually for this plugin, you're not going to be using the feedback to create some stereo width, but as a creative effect, it could get really interesting, especially if you have a large amount of detune going on, because each one is going to detune it more. So every time this feeds back into itself, it's going to go down 28 cents, get more and more out of tune. Let's listen to this. For all I know, come and go. Okay, let's listen without the uh, octave shift. So you can see just with this alone, just with um, these detune parameters and the the delay settings, uh, how that kind of the feedback makes it get more and more um, distant from the original sound. For all I know, come and go, you glow. Yeah. yeah, you can have a lot of fun with that. Um, at that point, we started distorting here so maybe we bring that gain down or or uh, <laughs> lower the feedback but but anyway you can have a lot of fun with this plugin or you can simply use it to make it sound like there's a few copies of the sound uh, for the most so i just reset to the um there's some presets here i just reset to the default settings um, for the most natural kind of sound what i find myself doing is leaving this as a as this 45 degree pan but i bring the gain down because i think that it's trying to make it clear to you that the plugin's there but i don't think it's a very natural sound so as an effect it's good uh, with a higher gain but um, if you just want things to sound a little thicker a little wider uh, you don't need either of these copies to be quite so loud so i'd, I'd probably turn that down and, and Keep it more or less as it starts up. For all I know, come and go, you glow. Boring, but nicer than the original. Anyway, I hope this gives you an idea of how to use this plugin. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. All right, thank you.